<laughs> it is uh, Friday. Friday! <laughs> um, I am on my way to the big one show. Yeah, dressed in my finest attire. Could have guns on him, couldn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm heading down to the big one tomorrow. I'm only doing a Saturday, uh, all day tomorrow at the show. Yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna stay in the hotel tonight, probably a couple of beers before bed. England are playing tonight. Uh, and then off to the big one show tomorrow. I'm there all day. Uh, going on the sticky stand, so obviously selling loads of mega deals. And uh, also going on the Thinking Angler stand. And uh, yeah, tying up some rigs. I've had a lot of people messaging me about the old noodle rig and how to tie it and all that. And uh, yeah, so I've been sort of basically pushing everyone to uh, come to the show and I'll show what I'm there with all the new TA bits and that. And also, we've got a video in the making. Uh, well, I've actually shot it, uh, it's ready to go. Uh, yeah, about to tie it step by step. Uh, not just how to tie it, why I use it, what sort of situation I use it in. Um, for, you know, do's and don'ts sort of thing with it, because a lot of people with rigs seem to um, just sort of use a rig. They, they don't have any sort of method behind their madness as why they're using a rig on what spot and for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, basically, there's a lot to it. It's not just a case of just sticking a, any type of rig out on any type of spot, uh, for me anyway. Um, so yeah, basically, long story short, uh, not really short, but yeah, um, there'll be a video on YouTube soon, and that'll be on uh, Thinking Angles YouTube, which is where you're watching this video, I, uh, I hope anyway. Unless you're pirating it off some dodgy site. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm heading to the big one, I'm there all day tomorrow, and then I'm going to leave tomorrow night and head for a tuition. I've got tuition with two lads on the Sunday, starting Sunday morning. Um, can't quite remember his name, so I don't want to guess it, but I think it's, it might be Carl. Uh, and then his mate, I don't know what his mate's name is. Uh, that'd be a surprise for me on the morning. And then, yeah, I've got another 48 hours after them two boys. And then I've got a lad on the... Uh, so I'm doing Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday. yeah, and then on the Thursday night I've got another lad on his own um, for 24 hours, so five nights of tuition. Woo! Yeah. Look at these. It's the new gear. Ooh -hoo -hoo. New camo. Nice. Let's see your best squat. Good on, boy. 100 kilo going out, boy. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Right, quick fire questions, Mr. Maker. Name? <laughs> Name? You know who I am? Yeah, who are you, mate? Tom. Tom, Tom what? No comment. Age? <laughs> Age? 27. Best capture to date? <laughs> Thank you, Lenny. <laughs> Jake Wildboard or Dan Wildboard? No, far superior brother. Green top or blue top? Milk, blue top, <laughs> or full fat. One the brunette. Oh, you, you got that one good. It's ginger in my Favourite face. angler? Scott Lloyd. Hey. <laughs> Three days fishing or weekend with the missus? A well, weekend with the family. Nah, don't the give me that. Family. Liar. Say this as fast as you can. One smart fella, he felt smart. One. Smart fellas, he felt smart. Two smart fellas, they felt smart. Two smart fellas, they smart. Spell, oh. spell fat. <laughs> <laughs> right, Jake. A few questions, mate. Name? Jake Wildwell. Age? 28. Pop Higher. Up, pop up or bottom, mate? Uh, pop up. Mirror or common? Mirror. Scott Lloyd or Baz Lloyd? Baz. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> Bits and bobs will fill it in. Uh, fill it in. Tea or coffee? Tea. Favourite carp, dead or alive? Uh, Basil. Basil. Ooh, Basil. Some, repeat after me as fast as you can. One smart fellow, he felt smart. One smart fellow, he felt smart. <laughs> <laughs> two, two smart fellows, they felt smart. Two smart fellows, they felt smart. <laughs> All right, B. You're done. Cheers, mate. Not bad, that. Thanks, not bad. Thanks your time. Quick fire. What's your name, mate? It's Hassan. Age? 33. <laughs> Jake or Dan Wildboar? Jake. Green or blue top? Green. Blonde or brunette? Blonde. Favourite angler? 
He's put his hand up. <laughs> Terry <Terrier>. Oh. <laughs> Three days with the missus, or we can fish in. Three days with missus. Don't lie. I've already. Right. Right. She's not going to watch this. Favourite finger anglers product? Uh, double ring swivel. Favourite carp dead or alive? Black mirror. Krill or manila? Manila. Last one is, say this as fast as you can. One smart fellow, he felt smart. One smart fellow, he felt smart. Two smart fellows, they felt smart. Two smart fellows, they felt smart. They smelt smart? Smart. <laughs> oh, that was pretty good, mate. Done, that's a wrap. Thanks, mate. Well, well, well. How's that for a day at the show? <laughs> Been mental, what a day. Yeah, we sold a lot of stuff, like everyone was absolutely buzzing. Brilliant day, had a right laugh. If you don't hear from me again, it's the end of the vlog and nothing happened at Christchurch for five days, I blanked. <laughs> but obviously, I had that fish last week, first one out, uh, it was a few days ago, first one out of church all year. So hopefully, that sort of started the ball rolling now. I know a lot of people would have sort of gone down the lake now because I've seen the fish are coming out, plus the weather's good, so good bit of pressure, get them moving around, exerting some energy, and if they're exerting energy, what they've got to do, they've got to replenish it, so they've got to be eating. <laughs> yes, yeah, leave it at that, and hopefully see you in the night and the morning, maybe give you a little update once I get all sorted and set up tonight and let you know what's going on. I'm on Christchurch, rods are out, three singles out in the sort of lightly zone, I'd think there'd be. I heard one fish down this end and one down that end. Um, yeah, nothing too massive. We got one. Nothing's been out since I left. I had that one last week. Um, apparently, they've been seen moving about today up on the surface. A few showing this morning, a bit of fizzing going on. So, all good. Good stuff. Sorry, every time. <laughs> right, we is angling. Tuition started now. Wind's kicking up into the new digger yeah, a little bit, and the fish are definitely in love in this sun. Shower under the pond. Got the old washing line on the go. So basically, cast the bare wet over, over to there, into the tree, gone round, fished it out, tied the rig on. And we've got it washing line to a pole. See the line there? Washing line to a pole, solid bag right in that margin. There's the pole. Solid bag. You can see where they've been flanking, ripping bits up. There's a snail on that. Who knows? Some fish over there. We have them on, boy. Damn right we are. <laughs> Damn right. Yeah, the fish aren't proper munching or anything yet. Still quiet. As uh, for bites, haven't been any other bites since that one I had last week. But hopefully, the sun could charge them up and they uh, have a bit of a munch up. We'll see. Right, day one completed. Uh, the boys are over there in the new dig. Oh nice. They're over there somewhere. Um, yeah over there. Can't see them. I have to smooch around to get a couple of rods out. I've only got two out tonight. Let's put a couple of singles out. Busy day non-stop. Which we just got their rods just before dark. I'm just putting mine out on dark. Uh, yeah and that's about that really. It's been a with there being two of them, it is hard work. Can't get anything on the filming. Got a little bits and bobs that we did earlier. Did a bit of washing lining. Um, the fish were definitely getting in there, but they just weren't interested in dropping down. They're more interested in sticking them vessels out, and real charging up, getting that um, getting that wood all warmed up. Yeah, they'd, um, they could definitely be active today, just because they've been that active on the almost on the surface, sat there charging up. So who knows? Good opportunity tonight. I've sort of, I've come around here more so for the view in the morning. I've got this mega view down the pond, so I can be real on it. Uh, I've got a good view from over here. We did see fish in this zone this morning. I've got a feeling that they're creeping out of this bay in the night and then getting back in early morning. Could be wrong, they could stay in here tonight. They were definitely here this morning. Last night, I heard a couple, hence why we moved, and why I moved and got them lads in there. Yeah, there's been, been fish up the other end of the pond as well, so. They're well spread, they're getting around. Uh, it's just a case of when are they going to drop, when are they going to start feeding, uh, like hard. There'll be a flick, flick of a switch, just like that. Hey, do you like that? Yeah, boy. That's sick. And clip my fingers for ages. But I'm having major trouble with my back, major trouble. I need to stop climbing, really, um, to get this sorted out. I'm having bad nerve problems. I've had sciatica for years anyway, but I've done something last week when I was on my last tuition. 
Um, I couldn't really move much. I don't know if I mentioned that. Probably did about a thousand times. Um, but yeah, um, today again I'm having more trouble. It's coming up my neck, up my nerves, shooting up. Anyone that suffered with back, back pain, I'm sure you can sympathise with me just a little bit. But yeah, I'm not just playing the violin, I'm having major issues with it. Um, so much so that I rung the physio today and booked in for Friday when I'm back. I need it sorting out. Anyway, enough about me and my uh, problems. Um, we is fishing, so happy days. Confident for tonight for the, for the lads. Real good, um, real good set of lads and took to everything real quick and they got everything spot on tonight with uh, very little fuss, so always a bonus. See what the night brings. First light. <sighs> oh, oh. I'm away. I'm away. I'm away. <laughs> Buzzing on that. Wow. That's a nice uh, nice uh, thing to wake up to, isn't it? That's what we all want. A little cheesy grin on my face. Um, just having another brew before I um, do the picks and get cracking with this tuition again. Sorry if it's a bit windy on the uh, new camera. Savage wind. Swept under the stars again last night, as you can see. Um, but yeah, it's a cold, old wind. Yeah, not to worry. Got all the snug gear on, and I keeps me nice and warm. So, no matter. But yeah, got one. Nice take on camera as well, which is always good. I was up in the night. Uh, I think got up like one o'clock, sat up to about half two. Between that time, I probably had about oh god, good forty shows through the night and on dark. Um, I was even messaging the lads who I've got on tuition uh, and we, we could hear them back, backed out like out in this sort of area. I know you can't see where this area is, but it's this area. Yeah, um, right of me, well right of me, uh, down in front of the plate, something like that. I'm actually going to be, there's someone in that swim, I'm not sure if he had anything, but I'm definitely going to be speaking to him to see what he's up to today because it'd definitely be a good option for these boys for the night. <coughs> um, them lads are in the bay over there. I sort of predict that the fish are going to get back in there today. I've seen one in there this morning already, but obviously the numbers are to my right, and I'm probably just intercepting them as they come in there. That, 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 that's probably it. I did see one to me right, getting closer, and then that, I saw one right on top, of, on top of me rod this morning, and bang, it was away literally five minutes later. Uh, yeah, that's it. So that's probably the fish moving into the swim, hopefully. Well, not hopefully for me, because I haven't got any rods out now. I've, um, I've wound them both in. Well, the fish wound one in, I wound the other one in. Um, yeah, I'll get these picks done and be cracking on with the tuition. But yeah, them lads are primed, ready in position for what's about to happen today. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they're going to move in that bed. Uh, bed? They're going to move in the bed? Got a bed on my mind. Right. Not gonna waffle anymore, we'll get this fish out soon and you shall see it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Remember focus at that half breath. Hee <laughs> Mega. Mega fresh. Oh. To the, go on, mate. Snap away. Go right and give it one roll to the right. Just one? Yeah, try that. Let's do a few on different settings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 what? 33 6. Nice. Look at that. 
Yeah, beauty, absolute beauty. Right, we're on the early morning pack down. Just gonna have some brekkie. Got some swims bucketed over there. I was fishing over there last night, like here, but the fish definitely backed out to this sort of zone. So we've got buckets in them swims. These boys are moving round, and uh, yeah, hopefully the fish are gonna back out into that area tonight again. We shall see, but yeah, as it stands, we're going to have this uh, mega little brekkie. Oh, goodness. Oh. <laughs> nice and well done. Don't really like it. Want to have a bad day? Walk away now. <laughs> Hate it. Salute. All right, we made the move. Oh, Kyle's onto a few fish here. Get this. Nice. Fish here. If you can see it. Yeah, there he is. Just to the right, mate. He's short. Yeah, you'll see him now. Boom. See him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. And down there, short as well, from in front. All just creeping around under the surface, mate. Loads of them. Look at this, buddy. Look at these. Loads of fish. Yeah. Yeah. Not in the wheat, mate. Number two deep down on the right there. Uh, number three. Yeah, man. Got baby poolies in the house. He's here. Looking pretty chunky. Oh yeah, we, the fish just dropped down on a spot out here. Probably not going to be able to make it out. You can see his pop up. Let's see. Might be able to see it. Through the water column there, somewhere. Where is it? This chop ain't open. As soon as the chop goes off, we'll get it. But yeah, fish dropped down there. He's got a choddy. Just looks like he flicked it in the zone. A couple of fish dropped down there, definitely. So looking good. All the fish are down here to the right. All the fish are down to the right down here in this corner. So, um, hopefully they sort of keep coming in and out of that corner. Because it's hard to go and put a rig straight on top of them down there. So, try it this way and if not we might have to go down in the corner. Have a go for them. Yeah, there's the fish here. See him? Oh mate, he's cocked down to him. I hope he doesn't spook him. So purposely left him down there. They can come in and out on this patrol route. Like it looks like they are. Would have been hard to get a rig in on top of them. One's just dropped down and had one of the chops, so they're definitely eating here. <sighs> Only takes them to mooch out under that wind there and drop down onto that spot in this game. gonna do us. Oh he scared the bird. The bird scared the fish. Shh. And he's gonna do the do tonight aren't we? That's the end of the first tuition. Well, 
in a couple of hours. But yeah, it's not been easy. I'm feeling a bit rough now. <laughs> yeah. I even put the bro up last night. Had a cold cold and all. My back is in bits. Yeah, brews on, kettle's on. It's just coming light now. And uh, yeah, I was hoping I might get another take on camera. <laughs> but yeah, no. Very quiet last night. <laughs> all the fish seem to have stayed up in the way, as I'm guessing. Just because of absolutely nothing. <gasps> Has heard or seen or not by me anyway. That's that cold cold one that me out. <laughs> wow, please give me some sympathy. <laughs> Few fish nutting out this morning out here. I'm on real ziggy, but good to see the charging up, waking up. Oh, mate. Oh. Why aren't we rods in? And I've been done a treat last night. And this is on braid. Yeah. Watch how clever these fish are, yeah. These me rigs. Yeah. Wound one in. It's the middle rod. Lead was gone. Yeah. This was stripped down here. That out point is bird right over. Can't really see it, but um, you might be able to. Yeah, it's bird right over. Sometimes you just can't. You, you, you can't help it, you know what happens, especially with these fish, they're really clever. You know, I've had it many a time, say many a time, I've had it a few times, where it's just where the fish has been sat there on the spot, shaking its head, ditched the lead, and it's managed to get rid of the hook before I've had any indication. <sighs> Such is life. Try again. All right, that's my first tuition over. Round two, coming right up. Day one of my second tuition. We are in. New day, opposite the new day. He's just gone around to check on his bag. So basically, the fish were down here yesterday. They were already here this morning. A few are turning up, so we've got rigs in position ahead of them, hopefully turning up a bit later today. We've got the washing line there. That's fished over to that margin. Solid bag, absolutely pucker it's sitting. Then we've got one here, down the right hand side that we've waded out that we can see from the tree where they've been ripping up saw them ripping up there yesterday as well so yeah two rigs in positions where we've seen fish over the last sort of 48 hours so yeah we're sort of preamping them turning up hopefully to turn up with the sun and a bit of trickle but you know that's fishing they throw curveballs in left right and center there's my boy over there checking on his bag oi, oi. He's just looking at it because all the mist has now settled. I wanted him to go and see how it's sitting. Perfect, invisible. Hopefully they turn up. Look at this. Come down the bottom end. Wow. Look at them. That is unreal. How can you compete with that? That's why you need to be on the zigs, but obviously the zigs are banned on here. Wow. Unreal. Oh, he just asked me if I wanted a snack. I agreed, obviously. I didn't know it was going to be a protein bar and a Saksuma. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's come down this end. Found a few. Back in here, aren't they? Oh yeah. What? Oh, all very ziggy. Up in the wires. Nothing munching. As of yet, anyway. What a fish, though. Some right over there as well, if you see. More on that shelf. Reaching around. Sorry to keep boring you with these guys, but I just can't help but film fish. Look at them. You can see the scales on him, look at that. You 
going to learn about fish or a certain fish that you're after watching them. It's going to be the way, look at these, stack that, stack that. Hello. Yeah, I can tell these fish aren't really catchable. Zig in the faces, yeah, why not? Apart from that, not really an easy way to catch these fish because they're not really doing much. Oh, hello. Look at all these. Let's zoom on this camera. Unreal. Yeah, there's a lot of fish there. Definitely this end of the lake. For now. For now. Shower water now. Yeah. Nice, brilliant to see. You're gonna learn something about the fish that you have to mate, it's doing this. Mm. Here's that chunk. Ah, I know which fish this is. Had it this year on uh, this last year on photos, yeah. Yeah, when I was with my old man. Oof. <whistles> Spring mix. Pure manila. An old nuts and monster particle. Nice. We're having them tonight, aren't we? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Confidence catches fish. Right, so we'll come down to this little corner again when we saw them fish earlier. We're gonna prime this spot ready for maybe a bite tomorrow, hopefully. Just hemp and tigers in the edge, nothing unnatural. Yeah, don't really like using boilers right in the edge. I've seen them spook off them a few times. Hemp and tigers really seems to be the way. Quite a natural bait, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm going to get up this tree with the bucket. Hopefully there's no fish there. And we're going to bait it from the tree in some areas. And then we're going to look exactly what that spot looks like. And then tomorrow, hopefully, it will either be cleaned or... Uh, <clears throat> no, I'm not saying the fish are going to come in and clean it off. Could be the birds or whatever. But hopefully there'll be somewhere for us to put them rigs. Or maybe in the morning we'll come down and the bait will all still be there but at least we've got some bait there to maybe catch the fish coming uh, you know actually catch them coming and get them feeding before we've got any rigs in there i always like to find an opportunity before we actually go and fish for them i wouldn't just go into a swim and think oh that looks good for a bite in the edge and put a rig in i'd always like to prime a few areas and then um, yeah get them get get catch the fish feeding there and then look at getting a rig in place noddy got my phone on Right, that's what we're going to do anyway. Bye. Basically, just going to bait down there. If you walk and zoom in down there, not zoom in, just pan down to the water where I'm going to put this. Yeah? Basically, I'm going to put it around here. Don't mind if you don't get it first time. About here. Yeah? Yeah. Got that? More there? Yeah, I see a little bit on it. Yeah? Yeah. Hold there. Yeah. A little bit more. I'm gonna go slightly right. Boom. The reason I do it from the tree as well is so it goes more direct rather than a big line from the margin. So then you're just putting bait in the margin, the birds are gonna come in, go through your lines and all that crap. Yeah, plus I like to see it down and take a sort of photographic picture in my mind of what it all looks like. It's all really weedy, there's no holes or nothing. So if we come down here tomorrow and there's some weed ripped up and holes and all that, then we're gonna spot it, aren't we? Egg it, Ed. No joy last night. Got old noodle in the house. <laughs> he always knows I'll be up at first light. It's five o'clock, don't come back for about another hour or so. I always like to watch you come right though if you can. Gotta be up people. Hmm. Just waiting for the kettle, aren't we mate? I'm dying for me to rip the top off that milk. <laughs> Here's our kid. You got a cat for mate? 
<laughs> non essential. <laughs> we'll part of the tuition this. Eat all the crap so you burn it off. Eggy lad. Right, we have well would I say lowered, chuck some singles along this wedge. See we've been locking up and down in the corners and we're just not getting in like they were yesterday or the day before. And uh, yeah, we kept walking, getting up the trees and that, and we found them going up and down this margin, left to right, left to right. So which we just put, put three singles on the wedge. Old Bunchy's down there. <laughs> Finished doing his hair now. <laughs> Caught him with an airbrush, total non-essential. Yeah, we're just waiting for the fish to come back in. Nice and slack on the rods. Like I say, just fishing along this shelf. Hopefully, we can get one to drop down. We shall see. And hopefully, we might even get the bite on camera, because I'm going to stay up here. I'm definitely getting a bit ahead of myself. Yeah, yeah. Bang on them, cookie. That's open, you'll see. Yeah. Give it a little twist. That's yeah. open. No, I haven't. Yeah. Eggy lid. <laughs> so, I'm feeling rough. It's the end of tuition number two. We've got another one down at eight, but only 24 hours. <sighs> Thank God. No offence to the lad, I'm just feeling real bad. <laughs> yeah, end of the tu second tuition, that is pretty much now. And yeah, it's so frustrating. I'm sure that comes across, hopefully, because we're not catching, you know, but, but, but mainly because the fish are all up in the wires. And there's a zig band, we've tried fishing downwards for them. No good. We need static zigs out there for these passing fish. You know, it's as simple as that. Um, seeing the odd ones eating, you know, probably for every 20 fish in here, there's one eating, and that's only a little mouthful. And if you're not got that that rig in the right place, you know, it's so frustrating to see how you need to catch the fish and uh, not be able to do it. But rules are rules at the end of the day, and these lads know it's all about the learning, not about the catching. You know, I've never had an unhappy customer. Uh, you know, any, anyone can go over to somewhere like, I don't know, a, a real easy lake, let's put it that way. Anyone can go over to an easy lake and be smashing out fish left, right and centre, you know. I'll just stick these solid bags out there, I'll stick these zigs out there. That's not what it's about for me, you know, go into every single little last detail, hunting them. And, uh, yeah, that's it, really. If you're going to learn somewhere, this is a good place to learn. It offers everything. It's got the, the deep body of water. It's got little bars and humps and weedy areas and silty areas and all that. So, you know, it offers everything. And if we do get a bite, it's uh, it's going to be something special. You know, it's worth that. You know, you, you don't want to make it easy. I like making it hard. It's all about the thrill of the chase, isn't it? You know, that, that, that's what it's about. Yeah, start of a new tuition, hopefully these fish flip. But can't really see it, but the lads are still gonna learn just as much. Twenty-four hours ain't enough though. Told him that, but you know, I understand, you know, they are quite expensive or what have you, so it, it is what it is. I'll try and get as much information over as I can. Peace out, brother. Right. Just to finish off, we're on uh stone acres. Thought it looked good for finding some. How right was I? Right on the end of this wind. Don't know if you can make him out there. There we go. Yeah, there she is. Hello. <laughs> Just flicked a couple of zigs in short. 
can use zigs on stone acres. Just put two footers, one about a foot and a half, one about two foot. The zigs are down here, just off that shelf there where it goes dark. And the fish are heading right for them, like right for them. I imagine there being a lot of fish on the end of this wind somewhere. So I might just go and have a little walk elsewhere. I don't know what sees over to because one of them looks like it's Kev's linear, which is definitely one of the fish I didn't have out of here. Um, I wouldn't generally have a fish down here, but since I've been bite marked, but obviously she's passed away now, so the two biggest in here are two fish that I haven't had, Kev's linear and no name on here. I did have the bus and my goo. But um, yeah, I wouldn't say I'd be uh, dream breaking anyone as such. So I don't mind having a little drop on here if I can find them. I wouldn't ever do full full time on here, I don't think. But seems as it was here. I'm all good for down here. Be rude not to. I'll just sneak one out. I was ever out in the boat or walking for fish in the edge or walking for spots in the edge. That's the sort of thing I would be looking for. That is a freshly made spot, different to anything else. Still got a tinge of like the silty colour over the top of it. Got like a, almost a bluey colour. But yeah, that's a freshly made spot. That's definitely been made within the last couple of days. If I was gonna be concentrating on fishing here, that'd definitely be somewhere I'd be putting a few little nuts and a few little chops or something. Or maybe if the fish were in this zone already like they are, while we're in a little noodle on there with a couple of little chops and that. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Yes, that'd be game on, I reckon. Three of them now. few of these now. What we got here? It's the same for each fish. No, it's not. Hello. Chunky monkey. Like that silk weed, didn't he? Yeah, the little root. 60 fish in 50 acres. There's a found 10% already. Six different ones. to do. I think it's time to make a move on. It's been a long week. I was half tempted to stay and do a night on here, you know, but I've been here for like five nights on tuition, so. And I did the show, so I think it's time to call it a day. Or not. We'll see. I lied. <laughs> Can't do it. I'm just um, in the process of making up some zigs. I'm literally got up the tree. It's definitely Kev's. So I knew I know I know what I'm like. <laughs> I um, I'll be thinking about it on the motorway. So I'm getting some uh, some zigs in position properly. Um, all in the bay and uh sorry yeah i can't uh not 
take this opportunity. So, rung my physio, told him I can't make it. Sorry, mate. Glad he's not into fishing. Well, I don't think he is. Rebooked him for Monday. Clearly, fishing is more important than health. Yeah, don't try this at home. Oh yeah, I've got got the weekend off, so why not try this? I've got anywhere else I need to be. And Kev's is definitely the only fish that I really like that I didn't catch from here. Do you want that? Yeah, I've got the treat. And actually watched him move out the area. So I grabbed the wedding rod quick. And um yeah, just launched it out into the, underarmed it, sorry, waded out a little bit, underarmed it into the bay. Just to get a proper depth. It's like six foot. So, uh, seven, sorry, including the float. I'm just tying up some sixes. Them fish are about a foot under the surface. Got to put them right in the faces with these eggs. You can't, can't be, I know that inches can make a big difference. Hey. That's what she said. But yeah, um, yeah, inches make a big difference. So, it's definitely, uh, you gotta get them right in the faces. So I'm gonna put like a six, a six and a half, and maybe a five and a half or something, just under the surface. So, bear with me, we'll see. I've got a night if I need it, but this is more of a day plan. We'll see what happens. Right, that was intense. <laughs> Got the rods out, oh. Got the tree, I had to sit there, got them, got them prepped. Of like five and a half, six and a half foot zigs. Got them prepped, got up the tree. Waited for the fish to mooch, like sort of down, sort of over here. Down that shit, and they're going along that shelf and coming back and around in this bay. So I waited for them to mooch down there, fully down in the waders, obviously. Walked out, underarm flicked, two rigs, two zigs right in that shelf and they went down nice and I'm fishing oh, the fish are still here they just come down starting heading this way so yeah who knows got to be in it to win it this looks nice I've got another rod sort of ready to go but I'm going to leave it for now get up the tree and sort of see what the fish are doing you know I always have got a couple of rigs in position where I know they're patrolling through it's just all about them depths now them depths are right we could be in with a chance so, we'll see. That went as good as I could have planned it. That was graft, but that's what it's about. I haven't been home for a week. <laughs> eee! Ah, uh, you know. I only live once. I only got one back as well, though, remember that. <laughs> Come on, the cops. Well, well. He's as long as the bus, but I don't know which one he is. So we're back on the camera. Right. Move around the side now because the sun's swinging and I'm not getting in that corner as much. Now, um, yeah, I've just flicked them off. Say it exactly the same again, just flicked them down the sledge. I too was able to wave one out and like, lower it in. It's just sitting about probably a foot, six inches below the surface. This is perfect. Yeah, I've got a fish here now. Got them all over me, but it's weathered up for these eggs in this shallow water, we'll see. But at least I've got fish all over me, you know, you can't. Nothing better than that. There's a real small common there. Must be one that's come through. Seen him before. Double maybe. This is a really, really, really big fish down here. Definitely the ones you want to be catching. Whew. Yeah, we'll see. Um, got these zigs out, like I say. So got them all around between a foot and two and a half foot, maybe foot and two foot. They seem quite low, but they're just not dropping. You know, I've got nuts all along here. Little bits and bobs, little bits of chop and that, it's just not dropping at all. So, zigs is the only way. Let's see what happens, eh? See, Scotty's coming. 
Named after yours truly. Immaculate. What a carp. That was nice to see. That was the first fish I ever had out of here. And um, remember I saw, still watching him here, I saw a fish, what I said was a 40 pound common feeding it kept coming back and dropping into this hole, dropping back, dropping into the hole. There'd always been rumours of a 40 pound common in here. But one hadn't been out only years and years ago, but that one had passed, from what, I, from what I believe. Passed away, that is. But yeah, uh, I said to Miles, me and Miles were fishing at the same time and I said to him, I said, mate, there's a 40 pound common in here and he said, mate, loads of people reckon they see one and all that, but the only way to sort of prove it is catch it. So I did. <laughs> Little single nut it was. It literally took me ages to get the rig in the right place. I remember casting, 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 going out in the boat, checking it, checking it. This hole like had gone from like a 50p piece to a football in over a few days and I thought I've got to get a rig on it. And I did. And it went and it was it. I was actually up the tree when the rod went, saw it ditched and led the lot. Mega carp. Turned out to be just under 39, I think, 38 in ounces. But was I bothered? Not at all. And we look back and I don't think it'd been out for about five years. Um, or maybe maybe more than that, maybe seven years, little Rob, I think, uh, had it. And yeah, that was it. And they called it Scottish Common, because I think it was like 31 pounds and now it was massive. So yeah, got a bit of a story for you. Oh, you didn't fall asleep. The fish have turned back up in numbers. And bear in mind, there's only about 60 fish in 50 acres here, look. We've got 50 acres in front of us. 49 to be precise. And I reckon there's a good 30 here. They just don't look massively catchable, unfortunately. But they are swimming right past these zigs, so... You never know, one, one might just snaffle it. <laughs> we'll see. But it's been exciting, regardless. I've seen calves, I've seen the bus. I've seen... Definitely, even mini chuckle, baby chuckle. You know, these are all 40 pound fish. <sighs> Go away! Sorry? Anyway, yeah. Uh, um, we can get some nice footage of them. Come on. Oh, that's like cabs or something. Keep missing them. There's another couple of units coming down this margin. Like you nets. He's a really big fish. <laughs> I've got a zig right there. <laughs> Come on. Oi oi. Right. Ended up staying on Stoney's, come down the opposite end of the pond to where all the fish were. <laughs> nah, basically, I sort of know these fish quite well, I'd like to think. And uh, yeah, it's gone quite calm. They were definitely down on that wind, but this will be the warmer body of water up this end now. So I'm hoping that they're going to come up this end. I know they were here the other day. Nick's just setting up all my bivvy and that for me. Hey, oh, why is it not focusing? Oh, yeah, hello. But yeah, all I've done is just ping three zigs out. Why does it keep doing that? Why do you think you're Yeah, you are a bit of a no, slave, though, aren't you? This is, this is friendship thing going on here. <laughs> I'm helping you because you've got a bad back. Ah, uh, yeah, he is. I have got a bad back and he's helping me. Well, you don't put that on it, do you? People just think I'm a mug, just setting up people's bivvies and that. Run this. Mate, shit. you're taller than the tree in the background. Fuck it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just ordered a takeaway, so we've got pizzas, kebabs. Twisty fries, chicken goujons, the lot coming down. Yeah, and I'm gonna head home tomorrow now. It's gonna be a nice day tomorrow, so could be quids in, we'll see. Yeah, you just poached me up, basically. Yeah, basically. Egg you out. Should have gone home. Oh, oh I feel bad. Rum sips and everything last night. Ooh. No carp, but I tell you one thing,
check this out for a scenic view. Isn't that great? What a joke. Right, we we'll keep this short and sweet, like you. <laughs> um, yeah, what a week. Been over a week. It's been eight days. Eight days since I was home. Wow. Um, I do work full time, by the way. I use a lot of leave and that for my fishing, so I don't want everyone thinking I'm a full timer. It costs me a lot. Of fishing does in time, especially and money. <sighs> Hike. But yeah, hard week this week. Them fish just weren't up for it, really. Christchurch and Stoney's. Uh, just on breaking point, they are. It's so frustrating, but I'm sure you probably saw I did work my ass off on. Um, that's what it's all about, isn't it? That drive, that want to do it. You know, it, it I don't know. It, like, my fishing is very reactive fishing as opposed to some people almost do their sort of baiting and waiting or just you know, sitting about waiting for the fish to sort of turn up on them. You know, each of their own. I've just got too much energy, I think. Climbing trees, lapping the lakes and that. I love to find them and watch them. Like a little pervert. <laughs> but yeah, that's been done. It's been a mega week. Definitely waking up now. It's all uphill from now. All uphill. And I am mega, mega excited for next week. Well, it's this week actually now. Well, no, what day are we on now? See? That's how long it's been. It's Saturday. So yeah, I've got work Sunday, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, and then I'll be back down next week. But I am going to Dinton, White Swan. Watch out. It'll probably be my next vlog as well. So uh, yeah, hopefully, there'll be some, uh, some good stuff to be watching. I will see you soon. Eggy lad, eggy out.